What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. The channel is specifically designed for anybody with new terrier owners trying to learn the best way to take care of their dogs and having a little bit of fun while doing it. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe. Give us one of those thumbs up because those thumbs up are super powerful for us to get seen by other terrier owners on YouTube. And today's video guys is going to be all about 12 accessories that you need to make sure that you have if you're either planning to adopt a Jack Russell Terrier soon, or if you just did, or maybe you just need some of the accessories and you've owned a Jack Russell for a while. And of course, guys, never forget to head over to TerrierOwner.com. Type in TerrierOwner.com to your URL web address bar. That helps me and Luna here get seen by more people on Google, and we greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and jump into these 12 accessories. All right, guys, so 12 accessories. These are the accessories I've narrowed it down to that I believe that you absolutely should get either before right after or at some point early in the process of getting yourself one of these Jack Russells. They all serve a couple different purposes. Every accessory that I mention, I will link to the specific accessory in the description below so that you can go check out the one that I recommend. Otherwise, just assume that it's a general accessory when I'm talking about it. But again, my specific recommendations will be in the description below. But let's kick it off with number one, which is a crate. Guys, you absolutely need to get a crate. It should be something you get before you even head to adopt your dog. That way you have it. Right when you get home, crate training is so effective for potty training, separation anxiety. I have a video completely dedicated to it that I will also link for you in the description below, but it is something you absolutely cannot overlook. When you leave for the day or when you go to work or if you just wanna run out and get some groceries, a crate is going to save your life, so make sure you get that first. Number two, guys it's pretty basic but make sure that you get a leash right off the bat i would also recommend that you get a pretty short leash because these dogs are known to be kind of stimulated pretty easily when you take them for walks they are going to get excited if they see a squirrel or any other kind of animal out running around could be somebody on a skateboard rollerblades on a bicycle even vehicles so don't have this leash that extends you know 30 yards where they have a ton of leeway to pull i would go with like a retractable leash where you can let out some of it or pull it back in if you need to but make sure you get that which leads me right into number three, guys, which is a body harness for these guys. It'll just clip right around their belly over their back, and then you can, what are you doing? And then you can attach that leash to it. That's gonna help immensely with the pulling as well. When it's actually clipped onto their back like that, their ability to pull is reduced dramatically. So leash and harness are number two and three, or burp. I'm not sure what that was. All right guys, number four is a clicker. If you don't know what a clicker is, a clicker is essentially just a tiny little handheld button, so to speak, that makes an audible noise. The reason I recommend getting one is because it's super effective with this dog for training. You would want to either watch a video on clicker training on the channel or go to my blog that kind of breaks down how to do that, but the clicker itself is awesome to give them a noise that symbolizes that they're doing something correctly and then giving them a treat as a reward after. Again, that's a different video, otherwise this would turn into a very long video if we went into that. They cost like a dollar. Super cheap, make sure you get one of those. And you can't have a clicker if you don't have quality treats. I've done videos about this in the past. The treats that I use are the Zook Minis. They are awesome for clicker training, they're tiny. So the reason I like them so much is because you can give them more of them in a short span. It makes it so that you're not, you know, filling up their bellies, ruining their dinner, or causing them any kind of stomach pain or diarrhea or anything like that, and lets you still reward them heavily during that training process. All right, guys, the next one is I would get a quality food bowl, water bowl combo. I didn't know how important this was until I started getting annoyed with like the water that would overflow onto the floor or from her just dripping water or food bits coming out. But now I use the neat feeder which is basically, it gives it a basin around the food bowl itself. Again, I will link to these in the description below, but I would, man, she really likes to make this tough on me. Make sure you get something like that because it will save a ton of messes from the food or the water when they drink or eat. Definitely worth it. Guys, the next one is just have a plan for some quality food. What you wanna feed your Jack Russell is completely up to you. If you wanna go with a high quality, you know, like meat diet, no problem with that. If you wanna go with a wet diet, that's fine too. If you wanna go with a dry food diet, which is what I use, no issues there. So this isn't a video really meant for the argument on which diet is the best for them, but have a plan for food. Typically you'll wanna stick 
stick with what the breeder is already using. So have a conversation with them when you pick up your dog. That's gonna save you from any potty issues, from changing foods or making them feel a little sick. But having that plan ahead of time is gonna save you some headache. And keep in mind, just like I've talked about in some of my other videos, these are kind of picky eaters, these Jack Russells here. So maybe the first one isn't gonna be a home run for you and you're gonna have to try another one. It happens, it happened to me too, but have a plan for that. All right guys, the next one on my list is a plethora of toys. I would say my son is better at interacting with her with toys than I am. He loves just getting them all out of like our little toy bin, toy basket, or now we even have like a shelf in a closet that he can get them out of, but have a bunch of different toys. Experiment with what your Jack Russell might like or may not like. Some, some of these dogs love things like tennis balls. Others love like the rope toys or the little toys that they can easily kind of shake their head back and forth and you know viciously brutalize quickly and tear up they're gonna all have their own preferences even though it's the same dog they have unique personalities so get a bunch of toys have a basket of them and have them ready this is gonna save you from getting your own stuff chewed up it gives you something to replace negative behavior with and this dog has a lot of energy so having something that they can constructively do that they should do is gonna benefit you in the long run Chew chewing on all right guys, the next two, we'll put these in like a little combo package, is a brush and some good quality dog shampoo. So the brush, I would only worry about using about once or twice a week just to brush out some of the dead hair, reduce some of the shedding, but the shampoo, a bath about once a month every six weeks is pretty typical unless they find a way to get dirty. You know, you can get something that's hypoallergenic. Again, I'll link to my suggestions for that in the description below, but get that now because you might want to get them a bath, you know, after a couple weeks of getting home and adjusting to their new environment and get the brush because the shedding will drive you nuts if you never do it. I mean, they do, they may not look like they shed a lot, but they have those little needle hairs or if you have a long coat or rough coat Jack Russell, it may be even more than that. So, you know, take them out back, brush them out, just get some of that dead hair out of them. It'll make your life a lot easier and make your vacuum a lot less strained. Okay, the next one guys isn't necessarily an accessory. It's more of a plan that could turn into an accessory or a more elaborate project that you need to do, but figure out what your constraint system is going to be outdoors. If you have a fenced in yard, you don't need to worry about that. You may need to look into an accessory such as like a shock collar or an electric dog fence, you know, that is virtually controlled or remote controlled, something like that. But you need to kind of have a plan because they're not just going to sit still in the backyard for you unless they're highly trained. So you want to have kind of a plan of action unless you're going to take them out on a leash every single time they need to use the bathroom. So maybe you need to purchase a shot collar or some other means of keeping them in the yard. Maybe you already have a fence and you can completely disregard this, but this one leads directly into protecting that yard, whatever it is that you have. And it's also kind of a joke, but plan on some digging taking place. So either have something you can put down that's going to block some areas if they get interested in digging a hole or plan on buying some topsoil to put back into those holes when they dig it because until it's trained out of them this is a digging dog they hunt they were bred to hunt they pick up a scent they're going after it even if they have to tunnel 10 feet through the ground to get to it so plan on that as well all of these accessories are going to make your life a lot easier again guys the links will be in the description below so go check those out those are affiliate links just so you know so when you do actually use those links to go purchase that item it does give us a cut of the commission from that specific website whether it's Amazon, Chewy, Petco, etc. We don't care if you use those links. If you want to go independently search, no problem there. We just want to be transparent if you do. Outside of that, guys, like we always say in every video, be sure to visit terrierowner.com. Type that into your web address bar, T-E-R-R-I-E-R, owner.com. Helps us out so much get seen more on Google if you go navigate around some of our blog posts about owning these dogs. Same thing with the thumbs up. If you haven't done that yet on this video, that thumbs up is more important than us than a subscribe, than comments, than any of it. The thumbs up is one of the most powerful YouTube algorithms gestures that exist. So if you want to get back to me and Luna here for putting these videos together for you, give us a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel, check out terrierowner.com. Otherwise guys, we'll see you in the next video. We appreciate you stopping by and take care.